Hello users, and welcome to another episode, an episodic installment, if you will, of Flix Done Quick. And uh, today I will be reviewing the second season of F is for Family, the hit comedy Netflix cartoon. And um, a lot of uh, the second season, second season is a little bit longer, it's got a few more episodes than the first one, so something to keep in mind. Um, but a lot of the second season is based around uh, Frank not having a job and really getting upset with a lot of, like, you know, tradition um, when it comes to, like, being a man and all that kind of stuff, which is really funny because, like, why would you ever want to be a fucking man? Men suck. Um, but, like, a lot of it is, like, just, you know, 70s culture sexism, which is, you know, it's a pretty good... Um, it does a good job at, like, highlighting and uh, pinpointing, like, just how absurd like, uh, cultural sexism, uh, was, and still is a lot in, uh, society, because a lot of people still think that way, um, but it's just, you know, it does a good job, like, for example, the wife, uh, gets a job working in, like, an office, and, like, all the, the big wig, like, you know, like, people in the office just kind of view her as, like, a sex object and stuff like that, so that kind of stuff is, is often thrown in, like, you know, the woman is often undermined in society, which is, like, a huge message in this season, um, over the course of that whole storyline. And then you have, you know, of course, like, the kids wanting to be themselves, and, you know, like, for example, you have the daughter who wants to be, like, you know, like, a researcher, computer person, but she's constantly told that she has to be, like, a Girl Scout and, like, has to like pretty things and stuff, so I do like the, uh, the feminism angle, um, you know, going on here pretty good. Um, I mean, it's, it would be kind of hard to make, a like, a, a comedy show, you know, uh, in set in that kind of era without making use of the era's, like, kind of absurdities, which, you know, I think it does a pretty good job of. Um, one thing I will say that I noticed in the first season that's not as present in the second season is the animation quality actually went way up for the second season. There's not that many still frames. Um, a lot of, like, you know, there's, like, a lot of stunts that look a lot better. Uh, there's that kind of stuff that just, you know, overall better production quality, which is pretty nice. Um, and overall, I would say the show's pretty decent. Um, it's, you know, like I said before, I think it reminds me of, like, King of the Hill, The Simpsons, Family Guy, except, you know, it's just, like, it has swear words. That's pretty much the main difference. Um, and a lot of them. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I would say if you liked, uh, if you, I would say check out the first season, because this first season is only six episodes, and they're only, like, 30 minutes, so it's only, like, a few hours. And if you like it, you know, might as well go off to season two. Like, it's just more of the same, but, like, more polished. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go watch the third season, and uh, hopefully it's good.